Welcome back. Continuing the uh, daily motion. Uh, this is the bottom of the previous page, so we're going to just continue on the next page and just kind of um, lay out how as the earth spins, basically the stars appear to rise in the east and set on the west. Um, the sun, you of course see that during the daytime clearly, but we'll, we'll look a little bit more detail into the stars and uh, talk about more about the constellations as well. So, on a, continuing on a new page, if you wouldn't mind, try to make your figures big enough and understandable for yourself. So, at the top of the page, I'm going to leave this, this area blank because it is a continuing on the series of lectures. You can renumber and uh, rename this as you desire, but this is just a continuation. I'm going to go ahead and uh, focus in on the notes here and then just continue. Again, the drawings try to be as careful as you can, and as I'm drawing this, I'm going to try to do the same. So I'm going to draw a celestial sphere here, relatively large, like this. And um, I'm going to draw a horizon here, like this, and a backwards horizon in the back, like this. And I'm going to make the assumption that there's a a little boat, if you will, floating in the middle of the ocean here, like that. Maybe put a little sail on it. Cute scene, but this is meant to be a little boat to indicate where we're at. And I'm going to put the coordinate, uh, the cardinal points uh, for direction. So this one, this area will be north. If we were on a flat sea, that area would be pointing north. The opposite would be south. Label these two for me. And then, of course, this is east. And I'm going to skip west in the back just for clarity's sakes. Now, this area right here in the front, we would call the horizon. This is the horizon. Let me use a different color. This is the horizon. At your level, that would be the level ground zero, if you will. This is horizon at this end, and so with the back as well. Now, a couple of things about this is uh, when we look at, uh, uh, remember that this is uh, a flat area where you're at, looking at our dome of our sphere. So if, say, for example, the North Star appears here, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a little asterisk here and call that the North Star. North Star. Now, there is such a thing as a circumpolar sky that is a, another star that basically appears on the horizon. Not on the horizon, but on the, on the actual uh, celestial sphere that would appear to us to be going around a circle. So it would be basically going around in this fashion, like this, rising in the east and sitting in the west, going in a circle. Because remember, we're looking from the center of this point up to the North Star, like this. And so this star would appear to form a circle around it. Okay, if I have another example would be in the east, right exactly in the east, I would have a star that would end up going something like this. Again, please draw it as carefully as you can, and I'm going to try to do the same here, and it would basically seem to fall there. Okay, so that would be a star rising on the east that would seem to circle around where we're at. The same thing if you go a little bit further south. As you look south, you would have a rising star appear to go around our dome, if you will, and settle right there. Now the star may appear at this point here. Now, this star that circles completely around versus these that appear and disappear, this one will form, you know, just a nicely perfect circle, is a circumpolar sky, a circumpolar star. Uh, let me use a green for that. That star, 
that craves that path will be called a circumpolar star. Now, try to copy it as close as you can, and if necessary, pause the video so you can catch up on that. But you get the idea. They're also nicely delineated in your book, but it helps to actually draw it so you can kind of see how the stars actually end up going. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue. I'm going to, I'm sorry, let me back out a little bit and I'm going to draw a relatively large circle here to indicate the whole Earth so you get the idea of how this thing works. I might have to erase and do a couple of things just like you would in your paper. But if, if I take the celestial sphere all around like that, and then I have the Earth in the middle, as close to the middle as possible, and I have a north celestial pole, that's the north pole pointing straight up and the south pole straight down like that. It actually should be done with a ruler, I guess be a little bit closer so bear with me as we go through this I'm not the perfect artiste but we can definitely try to do a better job right so if I do this right here from the earth the North Pole and then from the South Pole to the South Celestial Pole I would end up having a line similar to this and I'll go ahead and erase these Get it as clean as we can. So this one will be called the North Celestial Pole. This one will be our North Pole. Of course the South Pole and this one will be called the South Celestial Pole. Okay, so in the equator we have a line around the Earth like this. That goes to the that's the equator. And our celestial equator would be the same, except again, I gotta draw this as close to this as I can, like this, and then there's a line that goes behind it that would basically join like that. That would be the equator celestial the celestial equator this itself is the celestial sphere celestial sphere okay now remember some stars never rise above the horizon, so you would end up having something like this. They will always become visible like this. Some stars never rise above the horizon. Some stars never rise above the horizon. Some stars never rise above the horizon. Then you would actually end up seeing the circle and like that. So and as a last comment, as we look at this, uh, I want to go ahead and uh, say stars that always remain
then always remain above the horizon are said to be circumpolar. Stars that always remain above the horizon are said to be circumpolar. And that would end up concluding this portion of the uh, recording. So we'll go to the next session later. Thank you.